Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the woman of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, guys, this video is about the extremes, and I mean extremes that us humans will go to in order to find the woman or the person of their dreams. And when I say that is because last night while everyone was to bed, I'm flipping through channels and here's this show, and I didn't realize it, but it's the first season and it's episode one called Love Without Borders. Now, guys, if you're the type of guy that even gets a little nervous about going out and meeting a woman, perhaps even you're trying online dating and you finally find this great gal and you're going to meet up for coffee and you're a little bit nervous about that. And that's understandable. I get it. Or... Maybe you're just thinking, ah, I don't want to be turned down anymore. Well, this show is something you should watch because, it, again, it's about the extremes us guys will go through, just like I did. I imported my wife from Colombia, from Bogota, to be more specific, and it was a little nerve-wracking. And I got to tell you, she's a very brave woman to come all the way here to the United States without knowing anybody but me. So this is what this show is about. Love Without Borders is about how people will go to the extreme to meet somebody that they believe is the love of their life. So let me describe to you. Let's first start with some of the rules. Now, the host that, that sets everybody up, she's obviously a matchmaker. I didn't even catch her name. And it doesn't make any difference. You can watch Love Without Borders anytime you like. So she's talking to a gal. And the way I understand this works is this gal signed up for her program. I don't know if it cost her money. I think, I believe it's probably for free because the reality is it's a TV show now, right? They're probably making more money off advertising than off the people that would be paying the money to find the love of their life somewhere in the world. So this gal's from San Diego. Now, by the way, when you sign up for the program, she promises to find you somebody, but you have to promise to spend 90 days in their house, in their country, learning to see if this is a soulmate match. Oh my gosh, 90 days in their house. You're not spending the time at a hotel. You're coming to their house. You're going to eat with them, drink with them. I maybe even sleep with them. I didn't, I'm not going to give away the show, but these were the rules. Here's the other thing is that she calls you, the host calls you up and she says, Patrick, you need to be at the airport in three hours, three hours. And you're going to be gone for 90 days. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is like the extreme example, is it not, of what people will do to find the woman of their dreams. So let me give, give you a little snippet. This gal's from San Diego. Beautiful San Diego. And she gets the call. She shows up at the airport. There's the host, hostess in this case. And she's got her plane ticket. And she has no idea where she's going. None. She's like, okay. Where am I going? So she opens up her ticket, Dubai. Oh my gosh, she's flying to Dubai. So the next person is a man from Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. Beautiful city of Atlanta, Georgia. And he signed up for the program. And he actually uh, was very, very nervous. He was scared. He was actually shaking while he's trying to pack. And she's like, you got two hours to pack. You got to be at the airport. Oh my God, he's like throwing things in. And of course he took his prize guitar with him. He's going to Accra, Ghana. Oh my God, what a culture shock that is. The third person was another woman who was leaving Louisiana and she again didn't know where she was going. So she meets the hostess at the airport and she said, you're going to Galway, Ireland. Now me personally, Dubai, Ghana, Galway, Ireland, I think I'd go to Galway, Ireland before I go to Ghana or perhaps even Dubai to find the woman of my dreams. But my point, guys, is that this takes a tremendous amount of courage to go to that extreme to find the woman of your dreams. And you don't have to do that. I can help you find the woman of your dreams, perhaps even right here in the United States. It does take some effort. It does take some work. It takes a commitment. And obviously, these three people were committed because they're going somewhere they've never been to meet somebody they've never met. They've never even spoken to this person. They knock on the door and there they are. That's how scary this is. It's not that scary out there, guys. 
in the real world here in the United States. I can help you find the woman of your dreams if you're really interested and if you're really committed. So subscribe to my channel because in my channel, I've got videos that tells you all about my program, all about my philosophy, all the things that I experienced during those nine years that I was single when I dated over 250 women and asked them the questions of what they loved about men and what they disliked about men. So in my videos, we'll give you all the explanations. That's where you should start. And that will get you everything you need, all the tools to find the woman of your dreams. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next episode.